Thor 5 is finally happening. That's right, rumors are going around that Marvel has started working on Thor 5, and they have some big plans for the God of Thunder. Yes, if you remember, a lot went down during Thor Love and Thunder. We saw Gore, the God Butcher, being finally introduced in the MCU. We got our first look at the mighty Thor, and we even saw Thor finally become a dad. That's not all. In the post credit scene, we saw Zeus, who was still surprisingly alive, after his big fight with Thor. Zeus was angry about how gods were no longer respected, and wanted to make the humans fear them again. So to do this, he commands Hercules to go after Thor and kill him. But hold on, who exactly is Hercules? In the Marvel comics, Hercules is a demigod who was born to Zeus and Alcmene, a human woman. He is one of the strongest characters with crazy strength, fighting skills, and he's essentially his portal. So, even though their powers work differently, Hercules is as strong as Thor, but later he can gain cosmic levels of power and became the god of gods. So in Thor 5, we're going to see an epic showdown between Hercules and Thor. But how come we are suddenly getting a sequel? If you remember, even though Thor Love and Thunder made a lot of money at the box office, Fans weren't too happy with the movie. They thought the storyline was weak, but the CGI was just bad, and they hated how little screen time Christian Bale's gore the god Butcher got. But the worst part was how they treated Thor. Yes, instead of showing a powerful warrior god, Thor was made to look like a clumsy kid who kept messing everything up. And turns out Chris Hemsworth also felt the same way. During a recent interview, this is what he said. I think we just had too much fun. It just became too silly. It's always hard being in the center of it and having any real perspective. I love the process. It's always a ride. But you just don't know how people are going to respond. Chris couldn't let this be his legacy in the MCU and felt like he owed the fans a solid Thor movie. So he pushed Marvel to make another one, and it seems like they have agreed to it. There have been talks of a reunion with Loki, the possible introduction of Silver Surfer, and the return of Mighty Thor. But sadly, Marvel will have to look for a new director. After Taika Waititi confirmed, he won't be coming back for the sequel. I wouldn't know if that's accurate. I know that I won't be involved. I'm going to concentrate on these other films that I've signed on for. Thor is already back in the MCU. He's said to have a cameo in Deadpool vs. Wolverine. And being one of the remaining OG Avengers, he's also expected to be in Avengers Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. Honestly, it's still early days, so there's a lot that can change. But I'm excited to see what Marvel does with the superhero. Thor is one of the coolest characters in the MCU, so I really hope he gets a fitting farewell. Let's wait and see what happens. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. <laughs>